What is going on everyone? This is your man King May coming back with y'all right here in the King May YouTube channel, y'all. Today we are doing something completely different. So hey, if you like the video, smash that thumbs up button for me. And of course, if you haven't subscribed to the King May community, make sure you go ahead and tap that little subscribe button down there for me now. But anyways, we are out here and uh well, trying to get this f-350 to work man this old obs she's she's giving me issues lately hopefully we can at least get her home we got a new john deere large square baler that i'm trying to get back to the farm here come on baby come on baby we can do this there we go the old obs she's she's a fighter man I, she might not always run the best, but I tell you what, other than fixing or repairing her daily, she does all right for us here. But you guys, we are on Clover Creek on FS17. I know, something completely different, completely new to the channel, y'all. I, I don't know, for some reason, I've been wanting to kind of get back to my roots. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I I absolutely love FS19. We got more content coming to you for FS19, but I don't know, you guys let me know down in the comments below here. If you wanna see some more FS17 and just bring back some of the nostalgia here, just like I've been doing with myself today, I don't have too many crazy mods. Everything I have in here is public and I won't lie to you guys, I was late to the fs17 pc club i played fs15 and fs17 on console and that's actually where i started my farming simulator journey you all and i won't lie either <laughs> they were hundreds and hundreds of hours that i spent on each of those games on console and eventually i i finally worked into getting a gaming pc and started on FS17 right before, and I'm talking a couple months before FS19 came out. But anyways, we're rolling back on into the farm here, you guys. And uh, yeah, I'm I'm taking a new start here in Clover Creek. And of course, you know, you guys know me. I love my dairy farming. So we're, we're gonna try out this old dairy farm here on Clover Creek. I've actually never played this map before i will not lie to you guys i have not played it at all this is my first time being on this map and so far just getting general layouts of the the map and the farms i'm really enjoying this map you guys and i'm kind of sad that i didn't get to enjoy it before all right we just dropped off the old baler here we're gonna go ahead we're gonna get the truck back on over here and you guys it's early spring I can't really hide the HUD. I don't have the mod in right now to hide all of that. So you guys are going to see it. We did get some cash to start off. Seems how this property that we bought is, it was a, like $7.9 million, something like that. Shutting off the old OBS there. About seven or so, it was seven million. I want to say seven and a half million dollars. And we bought section 11 here, including this dairy farm here, you guys. So we do have a worker already out in the fields here doing some plowing. We got a couple of fields plowed up already. However, we need to continue on that. It is early spring, snow just cleared, grounds just unthawed. Ugh, ground temps are just about 32 degrees. It is pretty cold, but we are able to at least start our plowing and all of our fields need to be plowed here. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna join up on that hired worker. And uh, aside from that, I don't know, we, we do have a couple more deliveries coming in here. So hopefully we can get those fairly soon. Firing up the old 8400 here. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna head on out to the field. I gotta get the GPS started up, set up here. And we're gonna go ahead and join up. We did, like I said, we did start. I just gotta get my lines locked back in here and we need to continue on with prepping up this early spring all right pulling back on in the field you guys see where i kind of i just stopped and folded up here so we're gonna go ahead we're gonna get the uh, land all unfolded here all right guys so we're just going ahead and we're getting everything typed up into the monitor here all right let's just double check our width 9.5 that should be should be about right okay make sure there's no offset there we go uh, I like seeing where it is to the end of the field. Let's leave that on. Leave that on. We're going to go ahead. We're going to get ourselves locked in here. And we should be right back where we were before. So we're just going to go ahead. We're going to drop the old... Oh, looks like the old neighbor. He's over here helping me with my equipment. That is 
our big big horse here on the farm you guys rocking the same land what are you doing guy what are you oh my goodness is he coming over here to talk to me or is he just having a hard time turning around <laughs> oh no do not hit do not hit my land do, oh 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 all right good thing I, okay well uh aside from wasting fuel almost hitting me you know what i didn't i didn't check to make sure that there weren't any uh brown waters left in there oh boy hopefully uh hopefully he still up a little bit if those were the brown waters <laughs> all right anyways we're gonna go ahead we're gonna get pulled forward here get the land all dropped down oh my goodness we missed the spot i better back up there we go got the land all dropped down now and we're back on our track all right so coming to the end of the row here i'm getting beeped at now so we need to slow down just a little bit there we go now i'm not gonna worry about the end rows normally i would but we're gonna go ahead we're gonna get turned around here look at there and we're back onto our next row here so we're gonna continue working away here guys but as i'm doing this i'm just curious can you guys let me know in the comments down below what do you all miss about farming simulator 17 i know there's quite a lot of talk out there and like i said i love fs19 but i know there's some people that actually think fs17 is better than fs19 now i'm not here to argue either or my personal opinion would be that 19 is better however that's not what this channel is about all i want to encourage is community growth and community involvement and you guys I'm, I'm just curious what it is that you all miss about fs17 for me personally uh it's just the feel of the game man but uh I, a lot of the same functionality of fs17 is in 19 with a little bit of updates or or new variations of it and personally i do enjoy that just as much so what do you guys miss what do you guys like is there mods that you still wish would get uh transferred from 17 to 19 and what are you guys looking for when it comes to the next farming simulator that is coming out when and if that does happen by the way i don't know if there actually is a farming simulator coming out again i as far as i know there is but uh, we don't know we haven't gotten any any word any information on that yet and hopefully we do my goodness i am very excited for the new farm sim when and if it does come out the one thing i will say guys is just getting back onto fs17 here and trying out the gps i i honestly didn't even use gps until fs19 i'm loving the 17's gps a little bit more than fs 19s to be quite frank because i i do enjoy the fact that i can i can tell my gps to just make a turn and it's going to auto skip me right into the row after that and just automatically turn me right into it i absolutely love that functionality all right you guys as we're approaching the edge of the field here i did notice uh, something's going on with uh, one of the shanks back here and i'm kind of thinking one of them got dinged up a little bit here so we're gonna go ahead we're gonna rise up the old land all here so we are gonna hop back we're gonna take a look at it here quick yep looks like uh it's the third one in there uh, i can't really show you guys but this looks like we're having issues with the spring here i just need to take it on in and we're gonna get that uh tightened up here quick suppose we're also going to uh utilize this time as well there we go got the old door closed to uh show you around the new farm here but i am gonna need that steering wheel back to do that all right there we go i grabbed a couple of wrenches let's go ahead let's get the spring tightened up here there we go got that taken care of now let me show you guys around so if you guys have been on this map before as i'm sure a lot of you have this is a beautiful farm i am enjoying it but we ended up grabbing ourselves an 84r you guys already saw the 95 60 in the land all out there aside from that we did grab ourselves a 44 55 and we grabbed ourselves a 12 row 7200 planter we also grabbed a 44 440 now this john deere 4440 does roll coal i uh i actually found out that some people didn't realize that rolling coal was a thing in 17 and, and definitely was our 4055 up there also rolls coal aside from that got the massive goodyear tires here on the s790 combine here to go along with the combine here we've got a 35 foot and we also got ourselves a new holland 12 row header now i i don't have much for your mods like i told you guys earlier so we are just gonna rock a new holland you guys already saw the new baler that we just picked up we do have a crumble roller here as well to pull behind one of our plows if we 
if and when we need it. Other than that, we're going to rock the old Blue Jet AT3000 here. We're going to rock this one for some fertilizer applications after seeding. Coming around in the back now, just a couple of J&M carts. Nothing fancy, nothing crazy. Just a couple of 600, 680s there. My apologies. Got some new Holland chopper boxes here. Still looking for a good pull behind chopper to use here. Otherwise, we might still just use these wagons and we'll just have to figure out our chopper. We're gonna run on the back side. We got a horse liquid manure cart right there. We're gonna go ahead. We're gonna use that one. I, I don't know. We'll see if I find something else. I would like to kind of swap that one out. Rolling on over here, the case 7250, you guys. We did end up getting duels on this one. Right now, it's pulling our Coon Knight SLC 141 side slinger right there. All right, y'all. So as we're crawling back up in the old 8400, I got her warmed back up here. We're going to head back on out to the fields, you guys. And, and with that being said, I'm going to call this one a video, y'all. So if you guys enjoyed the video today, make sure you go ahead. Let me know down in those comments below. And hey, what mods do you guys think I should maybe turn on or get for this series let me know if you all are enjoying it and maybe i will continue this as a series it's all up to you guys you just gotta let me know in those comment sections let me know by liking if you haven't subscribed yet to the kingman community as well make sure you go ahead and tap that little button down there now but we're gonna head back on out to the field here get live back on and we're just gonna keep going with tillage you guys so i'll catch you all on the next one peace